Rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teens scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams.
sky. All night. Guys, can we have a talk? Every night. Don't be soft. A little anesthesia. Do it, John. Oh, motherfucker. Everything chill, mano? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Come on, spin it. What is it now? It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. <laughs> he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserved a hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. You're gonna help me out, V. I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're gonna owe me one. And you're He's saving so my life, boy. V. Truly. He lacks direction. Demons walk with him. They tear at his soul. But I'll tell him you're sorry. To make peace. Hey! Uh, I still feel like shit. Come on, fucking man. Yes, little What's up? The dog? I'll be checking it back exactly. here. Give me a Give sec. Me two bottles of scents on short last delivery. No, no, that ain't possible. It's important. Important that you're good. Oh, I was at the hospital today. Javi's got some broken ribs, but praise Jesus, the bullet didn't hit any organs. What happened? A police manhunt. They were chasing some dealers. So he had it coming, eh? He was just standing there. Standing, hey, understand? Want to talk? V, been a while? He does Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Eddies himself? Uh, tell him I don't fight. Not yet. What's he owe you? Afraid that's client confidentiality. Call it a lot and leave it at that. A cred sharp with business ethics. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. How's your problem? Cut him some slack, will you? You'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's. You gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No. You let him off because it's me asking. You know me. I'm a man of the bids. So I need to know what I get out of it. Transactions go two ways. I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Tempting. Got a Nova idea already. What's this? Grab a look. Mm-hmm. Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four? 
Number four will belong to my client, just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course. I'm a man of my word. You know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the ray field for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. As soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield Techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk, even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So. We all agreed then. We are. Glad to hear it. Always said you were a bright bulb. Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Perales has my vote. Good luck out there. Man, it don't matter. Perales, Ryan, suits from the same circle. Nah, Perales is different. But no, ain't just getting a belt from me. Bullshit. Oh, see. The I can afford Ooh, Japanese dude. If you boxer? No, please. Money's got nothing to do with it. Exactly. So to the, the dark in Santo. Children. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We? Long time. Didn't know you were around. Yeah, no place like home. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See, you got a good down home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. You're
return to NC has been good? Busy already? And two years gone by, not much has changed. You know how it would. It has strong roots, ever watered by the same blood. Now, tell me about you. Eh, I pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carry? Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty, what's it gonna be? One more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just drop down below. Here, before you go. Your number. Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. Find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah, something I can help you with. Kirk sent me. Mm hmm. Camera's blind. You got 20 minutes. Do your thing. Tech for a world. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. 
Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the fuck out. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce white. Hey, Detective Stins. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stins. Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Come on, spit it out. I'm waiting. Yeah? You ain't to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Rat got your tongue? You know, fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stint. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, I just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck ordinary yeah. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let them go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff licked rope so this trash doesn't flow. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. And <laughs> same. Stints is out to get people. Wound tight. But he does have a little honor left. Really think his sense of honor saved us? Well, and the fact he's Haywood born and bred like us. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Nah, it was all my fault. Wait, what? Pigs didn't waddle in out of nowhere. My tech must have triggered the alarm. So, maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. And Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big. He can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on, let's go have some lunch. 
lunch? <laughs> you would not believe my mama's chili. Best getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. It's a kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay. Food it is. Let's go. Another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gods will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come down and see? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of The chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to, uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm-up. Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Not 
not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing up. Quit standing around and take cover! You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Head to the training area when you're good to go. Oh, look. Brought some chooms with him this time. You know what to do. platform and we'll move on. Hacking's the next item on the menu. You might notice I tweaked the course material a bit. Training module will teach you how to apply technical work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Come on, you got this.
Work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. All right, all yours. Take him out. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork. Especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Okay. Now, try to take him down in one slick move. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun! Now, detonate the grenade. See? You just needed to shut your brain down and follow orders. In true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you're a real champ. Take your spot on the podium. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Before you finish up, Delta out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. Find cover, quick. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Nova? 
Well done. On to the next area. Now the same thing, only with the camera. To your training, recruit. Nice work today. Just party up. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Take him down, but careful. Looks tough. Okay, that'll do. Now maybe we find someone closer to your weight class. Let's bump things up from easy to normal. This next fool can block your attacks. bit coming up now. Lock and blows, step dealing.
Now this fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. V, want to see this fool punch an air next. Don't let him land anything. You've done well in mastering the way of the fool, young apprentice. I can Let's move on to melee weapons. Grab a sword. Now show me what you've learned. and all up on the platform. Good luck, V. So? Not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator. This way.
Target's Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking.
your toes. More bodies incoming. They're almost on you. These fucking reapers. Oh yeah, me. They're coming. Wait for your chance. Pick the prick off. Score big on that class grove she's got. I don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. This does not look good. She's in the tub of ice. Crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Heard people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. Don't ever know why. You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hand's shaking. V, Jack into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Mm. 
Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Teen Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. We're moving now. Check the biomon. Anything change? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims Trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. B, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, Mato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabrón. Get her outside. Scavrats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. Day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack, but don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. She's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. 
Word's out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Can't stop digging Night City. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. You're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, I can do it. Man on their ass, tailing us. Cuidado. I don't like this beat. One tiny bit. Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, Speed! Shoot! Can't keep her steady! your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Stops. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. She's giving me a chance. Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through, but they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gun. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it.
ain't your average badges. That's Max Tac. NCPD's Apex Predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gonks out there, though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill, V. They'll let me through. Sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Watch out. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. It's gotta be some kind of scam. What? Gonna have a word with the super. Oh, yeah.
sleep. Yeah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. Dunno, a neurovirus or I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Sign up for our platinum plan today. Because your life is worth it. Nine 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 nine. Trauma team. Don't forget, you're worth it. I don't know you. Proud? Fuck off. Wait, no. you mean 14 a day? Well, that's different. That, uh... Need to discuss it. Hot to know you, Shit. Like my new punching bag. Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so, how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Get that head moving. One hell of a punch there, Jim. 
Ever thought of monetizing? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? You mentioned something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instincts. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the time. Sounds fair. It's like I said. A good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. All right. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them. You get a chance to fight the grand finale. Is that all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start by Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. All of Chromanticore's 16 new flavors and mix it up! Hello, it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive. Hey, Exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the auction. the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Signor Vector. That's just something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacific. Things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. It, Jackie. Our break. Dex needs friends. Needs us. We can use him. Amen, I say. It's a win-win. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal? He's riding on you now, I say. All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. 
don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is gonna leave his own. Oh, really? No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Brunch your wheels. Give to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. So what? Should I just gouge out my optics? Thanks, but no thanks. You are beyond salvation. But not the children of the future! Life untainted by surgery of the sacrilege! We can yet save them! May the mothers shield their bodies! May the fathers instill their hatred for Crone! But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! Hey, V. In their wretchedness, Dr. Vector will see you now. Ah, oh I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kid and caboodle. All right, kid. We'll sort you out in a flat. Okay, let's put a pin in. Right, go ahead. So, listen then? All right, kid. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be.
Gonna keep me waiting all Need day. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Uh, V? Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. You might 
take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh, How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corpos learned to keep their dip. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain eight. But what they don't know, the real name for this thing they call Cyrus. Thank you. 
recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago, they hide their under masks of human skin. Don't push me. Aggressors of humanity. by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago. They hide their true faces. Skin, two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity. You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide... You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! Recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. 
creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. 
creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! If it's such a big giveaway, won't they just install optics? Or use contact lenses, at least? If it were only so simple! They are reptiles! Their nervous system isn't compatible with human cybernetics! Then why not have their own rippers invent some? Are you sure they haven't already? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. If you turn a blind eye to their existence, they have already won. Yeah? What's up in the big world? How's biz going? Eh, can't complain. Good thing you got missed. Yeah, right now, or... Know what? You get to a certain... How's biz going? Eh, can't complain. Corpos learned to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there.
Yeah, renting out our shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Chakra looks a little out of whack, but I can release it for you. But you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Is actually. Cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. to Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah? <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Mr. V? <laughs> Corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. A client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. 
Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang made one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain drop his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aimed to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Prima Donna. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. Must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. But I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. I still know where you go.
So. Danke. What's up, Chew? You want some? Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. And I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Door's open. Have fun, input. Welcome My to Lizzie's. What a sweet little face you have. I need a nap. Just a short one. Would you It'll like anything like else? I, uh, it's a bit. Uh... Relax. It's on the call. I understand. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll do whatever I can to fix it. you something. So, curious, the name Lizzie's, is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot all in all. 
Ah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. Tall what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a, uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. We're gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. He's waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. This one's a candy. You'll... Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? 
the media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's ball. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yori Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. V? What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. Hey. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't mm. grasp. Of course. Exactly what It'll you need. Just like you say. So what's on the tape? Yeah, yeah. Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say uh -huh. you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Uh-huh. No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, yeah. we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. Yeah. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. 
best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BD yet. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! On the 
grab. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa. Yo, hey. Uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Dígame, how you feeling? That was too much. Felt I could feel the guy's pain, his dress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Full scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing. Don't get creative. You go in. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. And simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now, you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Case of Brosif and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors Cuddy and no, Surf and Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. 
Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the rollers fiberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gunk at the counter. The grab! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? 
Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. Alright, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? I'm Milosek. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation. V could be something important. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling. Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Finish. We shall see soon enough. Alarm firmware is fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh. make it. Vision of a world that no longer exists. 
of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. Enough. Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Steph was pretty... <laughs> so fast. Yes. On me. Oh, got any candy? Noted. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. We. Oui.
Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But the... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. Please take a look. This project, he can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Visual this old gray beard. Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Step was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Best. 
sack. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, uh, you'll like this. Oh, fuck. It's like I'm really... B, eye on the prize. Focus. Warui kome. I miss this. You. I know. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Judy, relax. We'll ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. One sec.
Let's walk. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Well, what do you think? You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you a rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. V? If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Mr. Yeah. V? I said I'd come to you. I didn't. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work then, Mr. V. Four AM last night. 